Guys, welcome to Awareness in Action. If you're a coach, do you use YouTube for your coaching business? Do you think it's good? Or do you think it's a waste of time and you you probably find yourself utilizing LinkedIn a lot more? Why? We're going to talk about that when we come right back and something that might actually shock you. So, see you when you come back guys and we're going to jump right into it. Using YouTube for coaches. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. So as I said, we're going to jump into whether you should be using YouTube for your coaching practice. I have been amazed recently. I, I had heard a, a very well-known uh, coach that said that YouTube, they didn't really think it was that good for coaches and that their, their business was resol you know revolving around another platform. Um, and I see I mean, LinkedIn is absolutely inundated with uh, people trying to hire, you know, to, to offer their services for uh, coaches to bring them leads, utilizing the lead finder, there's, there's coaches that are on there. And I'm amazed at how many people or how many coaches actually don't recognize YouTube as being a fundamental uh, source that they should use for their marketing to increase their brand recognition and uh, to make emotional connections. So let's let's kind of jump into why you should be utilizing YouTube, especially if you're a business coach, an executive coach, any kind of life coach, you know, uh, a fitness coach, a, a nutrition coach. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. The reality, see, the reality is here. Google is the biggest search engine in the world, okay? But the second biggest search engine in the world that a lot of people actually don't know, and I'm amazed that people don't know this, is actually YouTube. YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world, okay? But it's owned by Google. So when everybody's trying to rank for the first place on Google or on the first three pages of Google, they're forgetting that YouTube is an, actually, is, is an actual fact owned by Google. And there is billions, millions and billions of views on YouTube. And a lot of coaches find it, you know, a little bit worrying because they don't want to be on camera or they don't want to put themselves out there. But when you think about how the world is changing and how we're actually moving forward in video marketing and audio, it makes sense for your business to be on YouTube and especially for a coach. So that that one thing alone, the fact that YouTube is the second biggest search engine, uh, it should be enough for you. Here's the other thing that, that people, especially coaches, don't recognize. When you actually have the courage and you put a video up there and you record the video and you know you you you, you put it public, you're ready for people to see it. What you don't consider, or what a lot of people don't consider, that's that's an advertisement that is there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, okay? That, adver that advertisement that you've put out your video is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, if you put an ad on Facebook, it runs out when your money runs out or when you have actually timed it, okay? On Pinterest, it's the same. On any advertising platform that you actually do ads for, that you pay for ads, yes, you can laser target them, but your longevity of your advertising is not there. So there's the second thing that you need to think about, is that YouTube is a 24 hours a day, seven days a week advertisement for your business. Here's the third thing that you want to consider. YouTube is also where people are consuming so much content, day in and day out. And it's not the content, people watch, they're very visual, okay? But apart from that being a, a realistic thing that you should look at, um, it is also one of the easiest ways for you to make an emotional connection and to build trust. Because, and a lot of people will say, but yeah, you know, there's a lot of trolls and things like that on there. Yeah, there is, but there's a lot of trolls on Facebook, okay? There's a lot of trolls on every platform that's out there. You've just got to take the requisite precautions to be able to deal with them and understand that you're going to get it. But it's how you deal with it, you know, no matter what anybody says about you or thinks about you, 
it's actually how you accept it or how you deal with it. Anybody can say anything about you. Anybody can, can control you, but it's how you react and how you deal with it. So getting back to this third, the, the third aspect, one of the, you know, I'd say these are the top three that I would, that I, you know, say to people and I recommend them. That third aspect is the fact that you can build trust and you can build, um, uh, uh, your emotional connection with people. I have seen coaches that have only just put one video up and it has made such an emotional connection that they've actually had a call or an email, someone's jumped on to connect with them on uh, on a, a personal level and they've got business out of it, okay? So there's the third thing. Here's the fourth thing. You're building an engaged audience, okay? I've seen, you know, I had another coach that said you can't build community. That's wrong. You can build community on Facebook, but you can also build community on YouTube. But what you need to do, even on Facebook, even on Twitter, even on anywhere on online, you need to get them into your environment. So you can build your audience on YouTube. You can build a good audience and get that community going there. But then you can get them off that platform, get them off and into your email list, your, your funnel, your sales funnel, but you know, personally into your email list or into your, you know, to sign up for your membership on your website or something like that. You get them off of the platforms, whether it's Facebook, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Pinterest, Reddit, any of them, you need to get them into your environment. Why? Because you own your environment, right? You own your environment. Facebook owns their environment. Google owns their environment. Twitter owns their environment. Anything happens or anything happens to these, these uh, platforms and they shut down tomorrow, your business is gone. Unless you've got them off those platforms into your network, into your environment that you own. So as a coach, that's imperative for you. That is absolutely 100% imperative that you get the people that you build in your audience off that platform. And you can build a great audience on YouTube, okay? So you can build your audience. You've got trust and emotional connections that you make, okay? Um, you've got a 24-7 ad advertisement and you have a, <laughs> the second biggest search engine in the world, okay? You could, there's certain rules and regulations on YouTube. I'm not going to go into it, okay? But there's so many different ways of engaging with your audience on YouTube. For instance, is asking poll, running polls, asking questions, getting your audience uh, invested in you and engaging with them. And that's the thing people don't understand. I heard the coach say that you can't really build community on there. Well, yes, you can. I have built community and I know others that have built community. And when people ask you questions or respond to you in your video, you're immediately making a connection. You can go live just like you do on Facebook. Okay, you can build your community through going live. So, ladies and gentlemen, I basically recommend every coach that is trying to make a difference in people's lives, whether it's business, fitness, nutrition, health, anything, to get on YouTube. But here's the thing. This is the other thing. Don't continually sell. You have to think of YouTube as two, diff two ways of doing it. Entertainment and education, okay? Entertainment has got its own demographic, it's got its other way of looking at things. But if we educate and inform and educate and inform our viewers and give them value, you will be building that emotional trust and that emotional connection. They will want to know you and they will come and learn from you a lot more. And as you build that trust and you build that emotional connection and engagement, you're building community already. Then it's only a secondary step to get them off and into your own community, into your own network. So there's, I mean, I could go on and on about all the different reasons why you should be on YouTube, but if you're a coach, you definitely have to be on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe, okay? Because in subscribing, especially at the moment, I'm gonna be teaching a lot more uh, tips and tricks that you need to know as a coach to be able to master 
YouTube for your coaching business and how you can get them off that platform and into your network. Guys, if you're a coach, get on YouTube. Don't be afraid of getting out there. Just do it because it's better done than perfect, okay? And you will be glad you did because you'll get better and better every time. But your coaching practice will be building its brand. That is another reason why you should be on YouTube is because your brand and your brand awareness will go exponentially for you. It will grow exponentially for you, okay? So if you've got any questions, please get back to me. Ask below. If you're listening on the podcast, please subscribe on the podcast. Uh, I thank you for spending time with me today. Make sure you subscribe, guys. It helps to support the channel. And if you want to know anything or you're stuck about anything to do with marketing your coaching business or your coaching practice, hit me up. Ask me. You can follow me on Instagram at Jock Brokers, and I will engage with you even more there and I'll send you back a voice message if you're stuck with anything. I don't mind helping any of you out because the more coaches we have in the world, the more people transform and the more happiness we spread. God bless, guys. And remember, perceive, believe, conceive. See you in the next video. God bless.